my name is Stephen West and I want to introduce you to my practice of combining photographic art and science. My most recent work uh, is entitled Beautiful Minds and it's both an exhibition and a book of images, portraits and stories. And these unravel the mysteries of the human brain and the consciousness of people with lived experiences uh, particularly of substance use disorder. You could argue that photography is both a science and an art. And I'm a scientist uh, by training, an innovator by practice, and now I'm bringing my photographic art to the world of, of science. In 1873, Carmen Golgi uh, stained nerve cells with silver nitrate. Since then, imaging has been a very important part of medical science. So for almost 150 years, we have been doing both research and diagnostics using photographs, images, and so forth. My current practice is actually focused on the biology and behavior of the brain. The brain is a very complex organism and when we peer into it, we see a forest of consciousness. And we use imagery to help us understand both brain structure, functioning, and behavior. So Beautiful Minds is the title of, of my work. And it is designed to talk about the brain, but also about mental health and the issues that we face today in mental health. All of us have been affected by COVID in some way or other. Um, this, this project was not born out of, out of a pandemic, but it was born out of the, the idea of understanding more about mental health and about talking around the issues of access, the lack of funding, and the structure of our mental health systems today that prevent people from getting the appropriate treatment that they need. So the Beautiful Minds project combines um, Image, beautiful images of brains and stories of people who are willing to share with the world their experiences of addiction and how they overcame substance use disorders. The power of the stories are that those people were prepared to share them openly and also they wanted to share their images and so the stories are aligned with their portraits. Also in the exhibition in the book, we will see images of brains that have been generated from the Brain Imaging Center at the Royal Hospital. I've been privileged to work with people at the Brain Imaging Center, and it was an interesting journey for me to learn how to use the software in order to develop the imagery. These images are taken from a low resolution uh, MRI, PET fMRI machine, a machine that costs $8 million and is only used for research. It's not used for diagnostics. So taking this uh, rough data and turning it into photographic images and beautiful minds and beautiful brains requires quite a bit of uh, software and post-production process. And so the images that you will see in the exhibition of the book are quite unique and they're very different to what the actual camera itself produces. But I hope they will evoke emotion in you, the people that will be able to see the exhibition and the book. The book itself is a not-for-profit uh, product. It will be available for sale and significant portion of the proceeds will go to the Royal Hospital and CAPSA, which is a, a charity to help people recover from substance use disorders. So please come, please read the book,